I've got an ad playing on my Twitch channel. On my Twitch window. There is the countdown. Hi everybody and welcome to the Haunted Log present Cyberpunk Red, a tabletop game uh, based around Cyberpunk. I am Shannon playing Zara and tonight we have Allison playing Jinx. Might hopefully unmuted myself, but I'm Jason. I'm playing Cavalry. I am Luke playing Zed. Yo, I'm a uh, cyberpunk, but uh, you can call me Scott, and I'll be a game master tonight. Basically, the overlord who demands that we follow his orders. The overlord, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um. We have a little unfinished business, and we have a new player with us tonight. Uh, so, hi, Luke. Nice to meet you. Hello. Um, all right. So, what time is it in Australia right now? Uh, 10 a.m. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I... I know that you were online and had streaming several hours ago. <laughs> this must have, long, must have been a long night for you. Yeah, it was like I finished at 4 a.m. Wow. Yeah. Do you ever sleep? <laughs> Bailey? <laughs> That's a no. That's a big no. <laughs> You know, there's a, a cure for that. It's called a sledgehammer. <laughs> I was just talking about sledgehammers, funnily enough. <laughs> it's been a rough day. <laughs> As luck would have it, um, because I uh, rudely cut us off uh, at the end of the last session a couple of weeks ago, we have a little bit of unfinished business. Um we were playing through a module, and you did uh, fight and kill the big boss at the end of the module, but you haven't looted him yet, which is a loot, which is a vital part of every role-playing game. <laughs> <laughs> you kept us from getting our stuff. So, is the loot what's gonna sober me up? <laughs> No, no. Uh, it could if you had med tech in your team. You don't. <laughs> Damn it. I'm a tech. I got electronics. We can give her a little jolt and see what happens. It'll be fine. I'm down. <laughs> I was going to say again. I was gonna... Does More anyone... machine than human anymore. <laughs> Does anyone remember why you went to the Union Street Chapel and fought this guy? Does anyone remember uh, but, what your mission was? Are we supposed to save someone and then got preoccupied with vampires? A missing college girl. 
Do you want her name? That might take Lucy you Lucy Rein... Lucy Reinmeier. Yay! Mm. Yeah, uh, I haven't found her yet. <laughs> nope, that's who we're looking for, and hopefully she's alive so we can get paid in full. <laughs> yeah, with all the... And also, all we... That uh, money. I didn't tell you about. And and what? And and also uh, now the the thing is is oh if the 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 offer still stands, but uh, for every head that we were to bring back to uh, that that group, we were we were going to get. I don't I don't think we're going to have too many of those. <laughs> That's what happens when I get high instead of freaking making sure I get my money. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. uh, sorry, Luke, we haven't brought you in yet. <laughs> You're just... <laughs> oh, I'm good. <laughs> You're waiting in the wings. Yep. Okay. Don't worry, I'm the one who keeps everybody in line and makes sure everything goes smoothly. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> So, uh, we left as soon as uh, the vampire lord's body collapsed onto the ground. Um, you are in the ground floor of the Union Street Chapel, which has been converted into a bar and then been converted into his hideout. Uh, he came up from the basement... And uh, one of his followers came down from the attic, and you managed to kill them both. You're there with a couple of NPCs, uh, the Machine and Trey Santiago. And we're picking up right when his body hits the floor. Go. Well, oh, I'm ready to like pull. <laughs> I'm ready to pull off like any piece of electronic equipment that he has. Eyes. Arms, skeleton, it doesn't matter. If it's there, I'm I'm ready to go. All right. He already, like, attacked uh, me from behind a bar, so I'm irritated with him anyway, so I'm probably not going to be gentle about yanking that stuff off. Okay, you hit this guy with two EMP grenades, so I'm not going to guarantee that any of it is still functional. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's <laughs> But uh, yeah, you can actually, actually wasn't there a and start th trying and start trying. <laughs> I'm gonna try for anything I can get off of him. That is. I thought there was complete. a thirty MP grenade. There were five uh, that, grenades all together, and we shot like how many of them? Three. I thought we had shot in three. I I did. Warned, though there's a third one that went off one downstairs and either one or two upstairs so yeah we'll go with three okay okay all right also have we checked anything in the attic yet no nope i was going to start securing the area i was going to go into lawman uh, on the premises <laughs> I'm just like immediately going to the like what remains of the corpse of the vampire, just shredding things, <laughs> looking for anything I can find. Am I passed oh. out in the car? Did they bring me in here? Good question. Um, and I should be answering no, but I don't want uh, two players <laughs> sidelined, so I'm going to answer yes. <laughs> How high okay. am I? Trace I would Santiago. say I would say she was in the car and maybe kind of started to wake up and come out of the car, <laughs> stumble in the building. Yeah, and at the end, hey, what's going on? Whoa! <laughs> oh, I wish I knew. Okay, well, eight thousand right ahead. Okay, wait. When I stumble in, um, I want to be like, did you guys get me my eight thousand dollar head? Uh, Jinx, um, are you making any effort to preserve the head, or are you ripping uh, the cyber 
the cyber fangs and the cyber eyes out of it. Well, let's say I have the head up, have the head up like this, and I'm about to pull them out as she walks in <laughs> and asks for that. <laughs> Just kind of, you know. <laughs> I'll there. I'll take the head, and I'll be like, "You guys didn't even know that I negotiated for more money than we agreed upon." <laughs> Immediately rip out the eye. <laughs> <laughs> She'll snatch the head back and put it in a, like her a duffel bag or something. <laughs> okay. Is anyone going to report that the uh, that the vampire lord was killed, or are you saving that for later? Save it for later. Okay. I mean, if the minions don't know that he's dead, then they might. I'm thinking save it for later. Have it in your pocket. Okay. See, I'm going to go up the, climb up the, the stairs or the, the ladder. Now I kind of get up into the attic. Okay. Upstairs, you just see a few cots and uh, foot lockers, a few spare of uh, robes that you saw these guys wearing. Uh, not much of interest. This looks like just where the minions were crashing, and there's nobody up there currently. Is there anything hey, well, in the foot lockers? Yeah, you don't see that. Player knowledge versus character it. knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, 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 I'll yelling, crawl up the rest way. <laughs> I'll toss down the robes; those might come in handy. And I'll start rummaging through the the foot lockers. Okay, uh, you find empty cans of smash, empty uh, cylinders that of uh, synth coke. Um. Some dirty underwear. Are you going to keep that, Jason? <laughs> That's worse than the head. <laughs> None of the good loot is up Just, here. Just, uh, look, okay. <laughs> Did you say all the good loot was up here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said none of the good loot was up here. <laughs> oh, none! See, that, that that first word got cut out somehow or another. <laughs> Selective hearing. <laughs> <laughs> more, more like selective connection. <laughs> Jason, how that Down. computer running now? <laughs> <laughs> terrible, terrible, you two. <laughs> I know we act like brother and sister, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Alias, I'm going to assign you an NPC for this scene. Okay. So, uh, you're going to be role playing a minor role um, in this setting. Uh, uh, cell phones are called agents, and uh, they've been called that ever since first edition of the game, which came out in the 1980s. So, we're, so they're just sticking with that terminology. But uh, smartphones have called agents have a low-powered artificial intelligence inside each of them which uh, does have its own personality and learns uh, the function, the uh, preferences of the user as time goes along. So I'm going to bring you in. You are playing the agent uh, that uh, Jason's character is carrying in his pocket. So you're playing Calvary's <laughs> agent. You're playing, you're playing his mobile phone. Oh boy. And you are helping him catalog all of the evidence at this crime scene 
as you go along. Yeah. And you play that character however you like. Got it? Chicken pay. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Jason, do you have your agent out? Are you photographing things as you go along? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm photographing things, and because okay. I think right, before, right, Rex, right, right, right after we're done with this building, I'm actually as 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 we're leaving, um, I'm going to call in the backup for them to kind of raid the place and <laughs> see what else the. the <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're trying to get ahead of your job by you know using your your other <laughs> do you realize zara's standing downstairs just i'm just running out high out of her mind and you're calling in the law i'm, I'm just slightly corrupt i'm just I, uh... slightly corrupt not completely corrupt <laughs> By the way, as you're doing this, I have a laser light and I'm just shining it around Zara to make her move. <laughs> she's no, she's just kind of looking around. What is that? What can I go get my money? All right, so you're not calling yet, Zara, not yet. Calling headquarters. I'm not calling. I'm not calling backup yet. I'm not 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 until we're ready to leave. Okay. Because once the backup comes in, they can take care of all the surrounding area and and cordon off and 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 everything, and we'll be three swing by then. Yeah, I'll follow you, late Calvary. He's an obedient agent. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that's what it's more. Uh, <laughs> Nice. Uh, <laughs> Start cataloging, man. Start right, so cataloging. Scanning. 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 Ooh. <laughs> okay, Allison. For All right, I think we're done. The the. the, the for every lucky... don't 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 bother uh, uh, logging the, the 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 underwear. We will we'll, <laughs> we'll just pretend we didn't see that. <laughs> Standing underwear. <laughs> <sighs> nothing. Everything. Nothing ever listens to me anymore. Standing underwear. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm getting out. Going back down. <laughs> You're done scanning this area. What kind of underwear are you after? Yeah. <laughs> Mostly boxers. Uh, but there is a... I think it's time to... I was going to say... It, 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 it's time but to upgrade it has skid agent, marks. <laughs> Does it have skid marks? That's what I want to know. It's probably holy, too. <laughs> Getting a holy underwear. Uh, boxer briefs, which are made of Kevlar. And that does count as Kevlar armor. Those sound wholly uncomfortable. <laughs> mm hmm. Think about all the chafing you'd get from that. <laughs> yeah, any skid marks? Jinx does not have the uh, cyber tech skill, so she doesn't have the perfect skill to do this, uh, but she does have her tech stat. And she does have a plus four bonus from field expertise. So this is what I would like you to uh, roll for me. To see whether or not you can abstract these uh, cybernetics. Um, okay. So roll me your tin fighter. And then add your tech skill, with uh, your tech stat, 
which is going to be a six, and add four points from field expertise. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, that's um, uh, not a high roll, but it's mediocre. So you're going to be able to salvage a... Uh, uh, let's say uh, one uh, system or two systems if you spend a luck point. Um, I will spend a luck point to get two systems. Okay. We will get a. Uh, you, you'll be able to salvage uh, his vampires, which are the cybernetic fang. Nice! <laughs> right? You did not get those because Azara claimed the head. Huh? I'll give you the two um, most expensive systems that he had, which would be okay. his uh, linear frame. Uh, those are all of the bionic implants that make that made him big and strong. Hmm. And... Uh, uh, one of his pairs of claws, say. Okay. One pair or one claw? One hand? One hand. Okay. Those are called rippers. Gotcha. See, I, to go to sleep at night, have been watching Thundercats, so I'm all for the, like, mechanic, mechanic claw. <laughs> <laughs> So I probably wouldn't really know anything about cybernetics. Yeah. Would I? This is actually in his stat block. Uh, that set of rippers that you just extracted, they are excellent quality weapons. Yes. That's why they're the expensive part. Like, okay, my question is, when I got the head, would I have noticed these fangs? Or oh. that's not really... Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are very prominent. He's got his, like, jaw open. He's got these rat teeth. Right, but would I know that they were cybernetics? Something worth money. In your uh, altered state, probably not. <laughs> that's kind of, yeah, the question. Uh, All right, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Scott. I'm sorry. <laughs> because uh, I'm going to say yes, because this head is very beaten up it's so it's uh so it's got uh so, some of the wires are showing okay i'll save that for future reference thank you okay all right inevitably you guys are going to go down into the basement so we'll say we're, you're going down into the basement now okay we've been okay. down there before right no, you've not been down there before. Uh, he came oh, up from... Oh, we sent the... We sent the thing down there. Trace, sent, the Trace sent one of his drones down. All right. Gotcha, okay. Very good with technical terms. <laughs> <laughs> so you go down into the basement. I uploaded a map of what you're seeing to the Discord channel. But it's uh, just like what we described earlier. It's been uh, remade into a small congregation's chapel, uh, just about that twelve uh, seats arranged into pews. Uh, the uh, turret that was down here that you disabled with the e when you tossed an EMP grenade down here is still here. Uh, it's kind of uh, sputtering and smoking a little, but it's intact. And th there is an altar towards the back. Um, you did kill the sound system when you t threw down the EMP grenade. There's a tapestry behind the altar, and on the altar is a kind of a metal crucifix uh, with a full conversion Borg uh, who called a... Uh, Chrome boy, and he is dead, and he has been nailed to this 
steel cross. And there are no booby traps down here because we're out of combat and I don't want to go through it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to admit, you said tapestry, and I kind of like, it was like tapestry. <laughs> I'm going to rip down the tapestry and I'm going to wear his cape. He's <laughs> like, hmm, I wonder if this turret can be salvageable and then mounted on top of the, the mounted on the, the limo. <laughs> I would like to go through oh. Chrome Boy's pockets. <laughs> also, I feel very bad for Chrome Boy, okay? That's like brutal. <laughs> We're down here, like, you know, grabbing tapestry. <laughs> Free loot. Yeah. Zara, uh, he was uh, stripped nude, but he's all chrome anyway. Uh, he might have a subdermal pocket that you could find. Uh, so I would like you to roll me a tinsider and add your, um, I think it's called Conceal Reveal skill. Oh, Okay. Conceal, reveal, object. It's an intelligence skill. Eleven. Uh, no. I'm nope. too high to find anything. Yeah, he's just nude. <laughs> I shouldn't it's have even whole... thought he had pockets. You could scout that you could salvage those. <laughs> I'm sorry, what could I salvage? <laughs> I said it's a whole nother body of cybernetics that oh. Jinx could finish, though. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to look for, like, as soon as she gets done with that, I, whilst wearing my cape, <laughs> dramatically will whip it around and start looking at uh, the Chrome Boy for any cybernetics. <laughs> okay. Um, for every uh, luck point that you spend, you're going to find uh, one additional system. Up to, let me roll a six-sider, up to six systems. I don't think I have that many <laughs> luck points left. No, um, <laughs> I've got like, I've got like five luck points left, I think. Yeah, because I used two, and there were seven. Can I use luck points for this? For the people who play this more than I do? <laughs> I still have seven because I never yeah. used mine. Yeah. You get them back at the end of this adventure. Hmm. Okay. Um, so I probably want at least a couple, right? Okay. Um, I'm going to use... Let's see. I think I should... How many... How long, like, this adventure, we still haven't found the missing girl yet, right? We probably... I'd go for three or four. Three or four? All right, I'll go three so that I have two luck points left, okay? Okay. Three systems. Air flame. Got a claw. I have an eye. The claw. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, come on. Once in a while, I just turn around and I go. It's <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> Ooh. Can we go get my money? <laughs> okay, you are. You know, Zara, we'd get more money once we find Lucy. Oh yeah, Lucy. Where is she? <laughs> I'm looking around for. I, I, I'm 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 looking around for like secret hidden doors? or secret passages or secret doors and all that. So. Yes. All right. Well, so I'm looting. The cyber okay. weapon that was on this uh, Chrome Boy uh, mm -hmm. is uh, something that uh, you haven't seen yet in this campaign. A slice and dice. It's the mo it's the monomolecular whip that comes out of the wrist. Lucy uses one in Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Okay, so the slice and dice, and it's a whip. Okay. Yes. It's one. Okay. 
and a neural link. You are so lucky Zara's high. <laughs> <laughs> I did such cool <laughs> shit. And a chip wear socket. Chip wear socket? Yes. It's connected to the neural... Uh, neural link is the item that connects all of your cyberware to uh, your brain. And the chipware socket is the uh, little hole that uh, you put data chips in. And the data chips give you skills. And that looked really bad. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything either, but it's like... I thought it, but I was going to be mature. <laughs> I wasn't looking, or I would probably not have been that mature. <laughs> And uh, the chipware that is currently inside the chipware socket um, is not something that helped this Chrome Boy very much. It uh, enhanced his dance skill. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I need one of those. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> I'd need one of those in real life, I think. Right. <laughs> Okay. So, you guys doing anything else while you're down here? Um, looking for... Uh, Jason, you were... I was looking for secret passages or hidden doors or hidden compartments or... Okay, you do not need a roll for this because it's very easy to find. You just pull the tapestry to the side and there's a hallway. <laughs> Right she did that you. immediately <laughs> with her cape. I ripped that down immediately. <laughs> oh. Look what I found. Is. <laughs> this is even easier for Calvary to find now. <laughs> the record, if there is a tapestry, the chances of me ripping it down and wearing it as a cape are extremely high. <laughs> okay, you can add this to your loop then. One tapestry and the, um, okay, I just saw a cattail move in front of your camera, so we'll say it's a tapestry, uh, yes. tapestry with yes. a yeah. picture of a cat's on it. That's so nice. pretty. <laughs> Vampire cats. It's currently, yes. My... <laughs> cats with little uh, capes and bat wings. <laughs> Perfect. Adorable. <laughs> A little bit of Zara's humanity came back when she saw that tapestry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just a smidge. Just a tiniest bit. You know what? I'm going to go with that. Uh, Zara, you regain one humanity point. Yeah! Uh, that <laughs> is the magic... Of tapestries, cats, wearing capes. Cats save the world, using man. Bad wings. <laughs> they won't do it willingly, but they're gonna. <laughs> okay. Um, behind the chapel, uh, behind uh, the space that used to be where the tapestry was hung. Uh, there is a little laboratory uh, where uh, Lord Rufin, uh, who was Count Orlock when you saw him, was uh, performing his experiments. There... Oh. I'm going to read from the module here. Uh, the crew finds a series finds a sterile white hallway with illum illuminated by glowing soft white LEDs. There are a series of medical pods in which six naked women are crammed inside, each biosculpted to look like Barbara Dahl, the Network 54 anchorwoman, to varying levels of accuracy. 
So as you walk along these uh, cryopods, cryopods is, is uh, just the piece of medical gear that med techs use to uh, stabilize and uh, hold their patients in status until you can get them to a hospital. Uh, you see um, Lord Ruthen using his victims uh, one by one to try and perfect the biosculpting process. And I'm using my agent and taking pictures and scanning the entire laboratory. I'm calling okay. you a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> I said the laboratory, not the cryo cells. <laughs> Zara is standing there just belts. looking at bodies. Like, <laughs> how do I make money off of this? They, are, they, are they alive? Leave, uh, leave it to my agent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Jinx asked an important question. Uh, or Allison asked the question. So, uh, Jinx, uh, <laughs> you may either make a uh, first aid skill roll or a uh, basic tech skill roll. Uh, I'll give you your choice. I have the same stats for both of them. Um, <laughs> let's go with uh, first aid. Okay, roll me a 10 Normally I'm tech, but if there's like a bunch of... Yeah, I'm going to go first aid on this one. Okay. Right. Um, insider? Add your tech, add your tech stat and... Uh, okay. And any luck points that you choose to spend. Okay, with a 10-sider? Am yes. I rolling? Okay. Yes, you're rolling the 10-sider. Roll a 10. Roll a ten. Roll a ten. I rolled a nine. I rolled a nine. Good so enough. first aid. So do I do stat plus level on that, or do I do just? Yeah, you I... add. Uh, yes, but uh, you don't have any uh levels in first aid, so you're just adding your stat, which is tech. Okay, five levels in basic tech. Or. Um, I'm okay, I'm just adding the six. Yes, that is correct. Okay. So it's just six for either of those. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I rolled a nine plus six. I got a fifteen. Okay, that is adequate. Uh, you successfully determined that uh, the first five pods contain dead women, and the uh, sixth pod does contain a living woman. Okay. Um, I think we should try to help the living woman, uh, not leave her frozen in a cryopod if... Chi I can pronounce the word, I, I just want to hear someone else pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to because immediate cryopod? hours after ours... Mm -mm. <laughs> yes, cryopod. <laughs> cryopod, cryopod. That's that word. That's the one I want. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I also have a relatively high first aid skill somehow. So I mean, if I can assist in any way, even though I know I'm under the influence, but impaired. <laughs> impaired. All right. <laughs> What exactly are you guys do are you guys trying to do? Uh, you've determined that uh, the last you've determined that you've got a living woman frozen inside this cryopod. So are we able can go ahead. Oh I was gonna say Jinx knows tech. Couldn't she open it? And then I know I guess first aid might not be good enough to wake them from a cryo sleep. Cryo cryo <laughs> Cryo, cryo, cryo sleep. Cry, oh, shut up! Cry I'm from oh. Iowa. <laughs> um, are we able from the tech to determine if we are able to uh, unfreeze the woman in the pod without damaging or hurting her? With a skill roll, yes, you can do that. 
Okay. Is that tech? Me or? That's actually going to be the paramedic skill. Paramedic. Paramedic. But, I don't have paramedic. Uh, I don't have that either. <laughs> okay. Don't I tell do. me the roll yet. Okay. I haven't rolled yet. Uh, mm -mm. Okay. You, have, you are getting assistance. Uh, who is assisting? Uh, Zara said that she has first aid. That's the best I've got. I don't have I've paramedic. Got, I've, I've, I've got first aid and paramedic. Ooh. Oh. Is the agent doing anything? I'm still scanning like recovery I wanted. Okay. All right. The agent is busy scanning, but uh, you're getting help from two care from two other characters. So first, I want Shannon and Jason to each roll me a ten sider and add your uh, first aid or paramedic skill, your choice. Ugh, I got a and 10. And your DV is a 10. Okay. And yet, but you have to beat the DV. So you rolled a 10 total, or you rolled a dice 10 before you added anything? I rolled a 1 plus 9. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Zara is is what working on the entirely wrong pod and trying to save the woman who's already <laughs> dead. I might even have the head like, come on, you can do this. <laughs> you, can, you can do this. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Thank you for being the only person in this campaign who actually makes me feel good about my dice rolls. <laughs> That's never going to change, Scott. <laughs> Orlock, I rolled a natural one on his attacks twice in three rounds. <laughs> and you're still somehow rolling worse. I have two sets of dice. That's all I was going to use tonight. But if I pop out a frame, I went to get more. <laughs> All right, so I I, I rolled uh, a total of eleven. Okay, I see Scott's Eleven's face just fall. <laughs> okay, Allison, uh, you get one extra point to your roll because <laughs> I'm helping you. Okay, so um, I'm rolling for. Okay, I'm rolling a 10, and I'm rolling, and I'm adding what? You're adding one point from Calvary, and you're adding your tech stat. Tech stat. Tech, tech, tech. Okay. Should be what, six? Mm -hmm. And because you are a tech, I think that uh, you get your plus four bonus. Okay. That, uh, that you can add to this roll. I okay. I'm not 100% so, will say that you can. With all that, it's going to be a 15 because they rubbed off on me. <laughs> okay, I was going to ask for 15. So, um, yeah, you, uh, you successfully extract uh, this college girl. And uh, you don't know who she is because uh, they all look like the uh, newscaster. Uh, the talking head on the nightly news, Barbara Dahl, but um, uh, her biosculpting is not yet complete. So she only sort of looks like a doll, like the left side of her face. Okay. And she is covered in cryogenic goo, and she's unconscious, but she's breathing now, and her body temperature is starting to rise. Okay. We're gonna like throw some. Does she have? Are there any blankets there? Um. There's a smock. There's a right, tapestry. I'm throw a smock on her. Then I'm <laughs> there's a tapestry. Put the tapestry on her. And I'm, I'm gonna look at the tapestry. <laughs> there, there's some robes upstairs that I threw down from the her. attic. 
Like, can you get the robes? I keep looking at the tapestry and looking at her and the gunk and looking at the tapestry and then looking at her and the gunk. And uh, yeah, I'll go get a uh, get a robe. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna set my my agent next to. Uh, I, is there some sort of like data entry or computer terminal or s something in the uh, laboratory? Uh, I was just going to call for a roll for that. Um, <clears throat> hey, Luke. Yep. I want you to roll me a ten sider. This is going to be a uh, perception roll, and add uh, two points to it. Okay. All right. Your that DD is. On an eight. Right. You have to roll. Total has to be a nine or higher. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> uh, in total, I got a six. Welcome. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? Maybe, maybe the Lister Overlord here is setting up the expectations a little too high. <laughs> maybe, we need to drop, maybe we need to drop those numbers a little bit more, huh? <laughs> all right uh calvary since uh you did declare that uh you're looking for a computer uh you make me a perception roll all right seventeen ten okay yeah, that is adequate. Um, you did find that uh, he does have a computer here. Uh, it's not the site, the type that he was keeping any records on. Um, it is the data terminal that's broadcasting the uh, net architecture that Red Eye was net diving in earlier. It got zapped by the EMP that you threw down stairs, but it's but it's a server, and it actually is worth a lot of money. All right, so I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll bag and tag that. <laughs> okay. And then I'll go up and go and get a a, a couple robes. Oh. The cleanest the cleanest robes of them. <laughs> Okay. When he comes back down, I'm still looking at the girl covered in goo, and then at the tapestry, <laughs> and then the girl covered in goo, and then the tapestry. <laughs> and I'll and I'll kind of like look away and say, "Here you go. Here's a couple robes." <laughs> <laughs> all right, and uh, that's all that there is uh, for you good guys to explore. There are no other rooms. Are we able to help her, like, is her face, like, permanently messed up, or is she gonna, she's slowly waking up, is she able to say anything, or? Uh, she's not conscious enough to do that, okay. no. She's, she's still out of it. And, uh, yeah, if, the biosculpting is a permanent surgery, but you can, you can, Biosculpt to put your face back the original way. Okay. I can throw her over is my there, shoulder is there any and we can go get our money. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right college girl yet because her face is messed up. It's not... Are there any identifying features that are recognizable from like the the video surveillance uh, or pictures that were in her? Um, in, in Lucy's dorm room that we could match up to. Uh, Does she have this, a tattoo? The... <laughs> uh, if one of you spends a luck point, then yes, uh, she has a tattoo and it'll be that easy. Otherwise, you're going to have to like uh, check fingerprints. I can spend one. Money up, Jim! <laughs> if, if it's allowed for me to spend one, I can... I'll use one and be like, hey, I saw a picture of that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
All right. Part of her, which has not been bio sculpted yet, is the little light tattoo. A little glowing tattoo on her ankle of a bat. A little cartoon bat. And that does match with Lucy Reinmeier. So you got the right girl. Yeah, let's nice. go get our money. Let's go. Right. <laughs> yeah, if right, you hadn't, yeah. uh, if you hadn't waited a night, uh, yeah, you would have uh, managed to find her before the bio sculpting happened. But you didn't yeah, well, get we there. Yeah, we wouldn't have the things to blow her up. <laughs> Okay, because you guys uh, went, uh, because you guys did uh, finish this module ahead of schedule, uh, here's what would have happened uh, had you not found and attacked Count Orlock when you did. The his two henchmen, uh, the clown and the monk, uh, they would have attacked the. They would have gone to the campus and attacked the performance of Dracula the Musical <laughs> and killed a bunch of the Philharmonic vampires on stage. That was a whole uh, combat that you were supposed to, that you guys could have participated in that you skipped right over. Thanks to two grenade launch or to the grenade <laughs> launcher Cyclone. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Munchkin. Hello. <laughs> Good night, Munchkin. <laughs> so, uh, now is Calvary calling back up? Are we in the limo? Ready to want. drive off? Yeah. All right, I'm going to call in back up then, and they can clean up the, the dead bodies and the, the rest of the lab and all the other stuff. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go around the table and I'm going to I'm going to go around our lack of table and I'm going to <laughs> each of you to declare exactly what loot it is that you're bringing out. Since you are leaving before the NCPD shows up. So, uh Allison, uh what loot are you bringing out with you? Got a, a linear frame and a okay. claw hand. Yeah. Got a slice and dice whip, pearl yeah. link, got chipware socket, okay. uh, dancewear chip, got a tapestry. Okay. It's a pretty kick ass tapestry. And then I grabbed a couple of bottles of beer on or alcohol on the way out. Uh, a couple of bottles of wine or whatever they had on that bar. Smash. Um Yes. And then were there any neon crosses there? That were still Working? The neon grass? No, no. Most of his lighting was done with uh, candles. Oh, yeah. Coarse candles. Uh, yeah, and then um, I think that's what I got. So, okay. um, I don't think there was anything else. I think that was the main stuff. I grab a couple more bottles of beer, uh, alcohol, too, on the way out. Just try to, like, shove them down my pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That works. Uh, Jason. All right. Well, I obviously, I, I took the, the server. Oh, you did take the server. When you said that I you did, were I did take the server. I thought the ba day. bagged and bagged and tagged it, and then so I bagged it, meaning I bagged it in. <laughs> All right. Uh, bagged and it, and we tagged it with a sticker that said Calvary. <laughs> and on the way out, I am going to grab the. Uh, the, the turret that was down there, since it's kind of human size, I'm assuming, since it was kind of uh, underneath a cloak and it looked like it was a human, I'm yeah. grabbing that so I, that way we can see if I can salvage it all to mount it on the uh, on the on the limo. I'd love if if was it a dual gun or was it, was it a single gun? 
Uh, the one that got tossed upstairs uh, is wrecked. But the one that was right. still downstairs, uh, yeah, it's kind of human size because it was sitting on a tripod. Uh, it is an assault rifle, but it is a but. Um, it was built into this robotic turret, and I was wondering if anybody was going to grab that on your way out. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm thinking James Bondish, where the like one of the headlights would would go down, then the 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 the, the, the turret gun would come out, and <laughs> uh, yeah, after you reboot it, it is fully functional. Nice. And, uh, Jinx can install that into your limo for you. For price. <laughs> I'll let you live. <laughs> okay, uh, Luke, uh, your character doesn't have hands. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, but if you want to declare that there is any particular uh, information or data that uh, uh, you wanted to uh, document, um, I'll let you do that. Yeah, it took uh, mostly, mostly like uh, photos of evidence that could be uh, held against Calvary later. <laughs> uh, of him uh, stealing evidence from a crime scene? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think I need to wipe my agent's memory and <laughs> reboot it. I might work for him, but I still uh, probably of <laughs> probably <laughs> my agent has backups of his backups of his backups. Oh, it really gets up there. <laughs> <laughs> my agent's smarter than me. Doesn't take much. Okay, I was just uh, looking up the value of an automated turret, and now I know that. All right. Uh, da -da -da -da. Zara, I know that you've got the uh, head of Count Orlock. And I uh, was I, there anything <clears throat> else grabbed? I do plan to try to sell the Fang separately. Then the bounty, um, and I also have the college girl. Because she's worth oh. money! <laughs> money, money, money. That's it. Um, the whole time you were telling me what they were finding, I'm, I'm kind of pissed Zara's high, but... <laughs> That's all she got. I'm surprised you didn't try grabbing the head of the chrome boy. She's got one-track mind right now. Okay. Oh... So uh, we're going to uh, not drag out the rest of this uh, because it's just you guys getting paid. Uh, who do you reach out to? Do you reach out to Sumaki, who is the solo that uh, referred you to the job? Or do you reach out to uh, her father? Or do you reach out to the uh Fixer, who looks like Bella Lugosi. Uh, Bella Lugosi is the one that I um, negotiated the prices with, so that's probably who I would call. Okay. We're going to see if you can get more from the father. Well, this already says I get 8000 ahead. I got 500 up front, and in the end I get... Forty thousand. Saying, cut out the middleman. <laughs> Can Jinx now steer me a different way before I call? Because honestly, what would happen was we'd probably get in the limo and I'd start dialing Bella. Whether you interfere I feel like or not. He called who you calling? Well, we get a lot of money. I negotiated from this guy over here, and I'll show my agent with the name in it. What? 
Why aren't you calling their parents? That's where you get the cash from. Oh, are you good with like touchy feely stuff? I probably shouldn't talk to parents. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm gonna think I'm great with touchy feely stuff. I am not. <laughs> okay, so um, Zara's going to insist a split on probably... speakerphone. Okay. Because oh. I want to know that the parents are in fact paying more money. Okay. Uh, you've already been in her dorm room. Uh, you've been through her personal computer. So I'll say that uh, yeah, you found uh, her parents' phone number. And uh, your agent asks, uh, Oh, are you sure that you want to do this? Is Eeyore my agent? Late. You forgot about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, its its name is canonically Eeyore now. Eeyore, <laughs> yes. <laughs> if I wake him up in the middle of the night and they've been sleeping, and then I'll look at Jinx and be like, Am I calling, or are you calling? No way. You guys insisted on going to hunt the vampire during the daytime, so it's early morning. Oh. It's a little after dawn now. So we needed time to make the EM at the bombs, the the metal bo uh, magnetic bombs, so. The EMP. Jinx, I think statistically Grenade. it's best to give people news like this when they're first waking up so they can't think harder. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> before they have their caffeine. Before they have yeah. their, their coffee. <laughs> so here, and I'll hand Eeyore to Jinx. It's ringing. It's still ringing. Make it I... ring louder. It's... Okay. <laughs> uh, the agent turns up the volume, and now you hear a louder ringing, and it almost hurts your ears. And then a gruff man answers... Morning. Who the hell is this? Are you the dude who has, like, a missing kid? <laughs> no. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. We got your daughter. Just tell him. <laughs> this is going well. We're very good at this. <laughs> is this a ransom? No. No. I mean, no. We rescued hey. her. But I mean, um, reward? I've spoken with Lucy in weeks. And I don't know what the hell you're talking about. This sounds like a ransom. <laughs> I'm just going to look at Jinx. Is her mother there? All right. If you actually had Lucy, she would have told you that there is no mother. She's been out of the picture for years. How did you get this number? <laughs> I have to say, I'm curious. Like, do you really, like, not like your daughter at all? Like, how does this... I'm just curious. I'm like... Most people would be like, oh, I gotta see my daughter again. And you're like, ew, your mom doesn't like her and I don't either. Like, I'm just wondering why, like, this kid has to suffer like this and deal with, like, you. I mean, that sucks. Maybe, like, she shouldn't come back. I mean, if I were, like, had a father like you, I would, like, immediately <laughs> run. <laughs> he already hung up. <laughs> All right, now you can call it Bella Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the agent back from Jinx and say, can you update this voice? 
Do you know how to do that? Um, yeah, I'm going to update the voice, and now it's going to uh, sound like Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just speed this up a little bit. I'll You're call, welcome. I'll call Bella <laughs> after I get my agent back. Dialing Bella very fast. Arriba, Arriba! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got. Angle, Arriba, Arriba! Actually, answer. And, he's... and he says, Hello, I hope that you are bringing me good news. We found her. And I got one head. Wait, I, I, I do not need to know about your personal life. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this, Bella. And I may be a little off my game, but when money's involved, I'm going to get what I was promised. Wait. Can you show me this head? Um, I'll turn on like FaceTime on the agent, whatever that's called, and I'll show the head. <laughs> that is definitely Lord Rev. I was not I was not expecting that he had gone that that he had gone this far. Uh, you have absolutely done a, a favor for the uh, Philharmonic vampires and if you don't mind my saying, I I like the fact that uh, you beheaded uh, the heretic vampire lord. Um, it would have been uh, best if you had stabbed him through the heart, but beheading, uh, that also works. Yeah, I did that all by myself. You have made... Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> ...have made a friend of the Philharmonic vampires. Um, you got my money ready? <laughs> uh, I can send it to your agent immediately. Perfect. Do you want Lori okay. at your place, or do we just drop her on a corner somewhere? Lucy! It's Lucy! <laughs> I, I yelled back from the, the front seat. <laughs> this is what I need you to do. I need you to bring... Uh, Lucy Linemeyer, uh, back to her dorm room. You know where that is located. You have been there. I can meet you there. And, uh, I will pay upon her safe return. But I also need you to destroy any evidence that suggests the Philharmonic vampires were involved. So, please tell me that you burnt his hideout to the ground. Uh, that wasn't in the job description. Also, there's a bit of a problem with her face. Uh, all right. I, I understood. Uh, we will w work with what we can get. Um, uh, meet me at her dorm room. I am heading there right now. All right. See you there. Okay. So, uh, you meet at the dorm room. Um... I don't recall anything that was tying the Philharmonic vampires to this. People know that she was sneaking out with... Did they? Hmm. Right. I mean, there's, there's, there was that, but... It wasn't I didn't think that there was anything that we had found at the hideout that... The guy with the teeth? Well, that wasn't Philharmonic then... Vampires, though. That's a good point. Uh, not... The only member of... Former member of the Philharmonic Vampires uh, who was uh, who was there at the time that you guys raided the place was Lord Refn himself. All right. And since we took his head, we've got his his his, his, his body his is technically still back hanging out of everything. So, yeah. 
Well, this is actually uh, the DM's uh, continuity error. I remembered that uh, you guys uh, figured out uh, the Philharmonic vampires were involved and that Lucy was trying to get into that gang. It was, uh, it was a uh, rumor but, we heard in the hallway of people just passing by. But uh, the vampires did not know that you knew. So, uh... <laughs> just gonna pretend so, that we knew and be like, yeah, we knew this. And guess more. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Bella is, uh, very insightful. <laughs> so, uh, he was, uh, he was able to glean that you knew that he knew. And, uh, it's, now it's an open secret. It's all out. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not crazy about the the fact that uh you left the place looking uh uh with a vampire theme uh that can be traced back to his gang but he is pleased by the fact that you cut the head off the vampire which okay. you were not going to do um, so, i'm gonna i'm gonna suggest uh, that out. like are we back in the dorm room now i'm not Yes, you can be back in the door room. Door room. I was gonna say, you know, I can go back and, you know, take care of uh, making that place into cinders for for a price. No, you can't, because the NT NCPD is there now. <laughs> oh, that's right, Mister Calvary called in the <laughs> called in the cavalry. <laughs> They're taking care of the other the, the the other bodies and everything. So Lucy, who's still uh, covered in uh, cryogen goo, uh, is, the, placed, is placed on her like... Sorry. And Bella punches a button on his own agent, and uh, Bing Zara's agent uh, alerts her that uh, she has been paid in full. Price we talked about? Very lucrative job. Yes. I'm going to start doing math. <laughs> In. Oh, wait. Did I hand the head over? Because I wanted to take the fangs first. You have not declared that you've handed the head over, so no, you haven't. Okay, um, I will pull the head out and show him. Be like, so, uh, how much for this? I said, you, you, you brought a bleeding head onto campus? Why wouldn't I? I'm around? It was in my duffel bag. Um, uh, uh, yes, the duffel bag that is, that is leaking. You left a blood trail all down the hallway. He didn't have that much blood. Blood drops all the way down. <laughs> it's tomato juice. I... Yeah, yeah, very well, very well. I, I have contacts in the props department. <laughs> and, the, and the theater groups, I can, I, can, I can make this a cover story. I can say that it was a stage prop. So how much for it? I want... Uh, I will not pay you for that, and I suggest that you burn it. That man used to be a, pro a tenured professor here at this institution. Technically, he still is. Okay, I'm going to rip the fangs out and put them in my pocket and chuck the head at Calvary. I don't need this. <laughs> what am I doing with this? <laughs> we could try to flush it down our toilet. Bella, you said to burn this? <laughs> that is my recommendation. I'm looking around, I was like, is there like a dirty towel or something like that? I can wrap this thing in and put it back in the duffel bag and... <laughs> Yeah, it's a dorm room. You can find a dirty towel. 
All right, I'm going to do that. Wrap the head in it, stuck it back in the 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 duffel bag, and first dumpster we find, we, we see there's going to be a dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> a literal dumpster fire. <laughs> okay, that works. So I am going to send you each... It's outside the chemistry lab. $2,000. Okay. Two Yes. I, I I seem to recall that the original price for this was a lot higher than what a two thousand eddy per person split was going to be. No no, the original price that we talked about was two thousand. I don't think so. <laughs> if I recall correctly, the min the, the the starting price was eleven thousand eddies. How how high am I? <laughs> e uh, duration of the drug that you took is well past now. Oh, okay. All right, then... 11,000 total? That was before you negotiated up. But I didn't. I didn't negotiate. I was in the room with <laughs> you when you did... She'll uh, pull her agent out and go fuck and send them both eleven thousand more dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. Um. Uh. Uh. Mr. Bella is now leaving the room. Anybody got anything else to say to him? Like the fact that you caught him lying about uh, being hired by Lucy's father? Sorry, I don't care. So I, was um, not, I, I, I wasn't on that phone call, so I, w I was just it, listening, so I don't know where exactly it was. It was on speakerphone. Oh, it was. Yeah. Oh, that's right, it was. It was on speakerphone. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Bell, Bello, uh, Mr. Reinhardt didn't really know that uh, Lucy. Lucy was uh, was missing. Uh, he he stated that he hadn't really talked to her or seen her for a few weeks. That is correct. This is a cover story that we had to use so that uh, the anonymity of the Philharmonic vampires would remain intact. Great, that works great. Nobody. Heard a thing. Hey, how how much do you want to keep this quiet? And my my well, my agent is is unseemingly very skilled in in recording uh, uh, evidence that uh, a, a person would normally not not capture. You Trust me, I've tried wiping his memory mumble multiple times, and his personality always comes back as the way it was. You are not medias. You do not have the ears of the public. Uh, about no, but that. We, we but we do we we do know somebody who is a media that we worked with on on this. He was down in the castle with us with a recording drone. <laughs> we made sure I'm... we're not on camera, though, so it doesn't mean much <laughs> to us. I have already paid you generously. Mm hmm. And I will not pay you any more. But you paid us the agreed amount for the job we completed. You didn't pay us yeah. to keep anything quiet. 
but it's been a pleasure doing business with you and I'll start to leave the room. All right, and I'll start pulling up traces uh, or tray, Trey's uh, number in, in, in my agent. What exactly is your price? What is the price of your silence? <laughs> you gonna do? You gonna go one million whatever? <laughs> A million, <laughs> million dollars. <laughs> Fifty. Fifty grand. I will take this up with my superior. I do not have those resources personally. Understandable. Just know, I, you know that we have multiple copies of, of everything that... So if, if, if something was to happen to one of us, our contact and his contact and his that, that other person's contact and the intern who has no contacts uh, would would get a copy of of, of everything uh, or of all the footage. Okay. He doesn't say it. He doesn't say a word. He just leaves the room quickly. That went great. <laughs> <laughs> This is the first time I've ever, ever attempted to, to, to shake someone down. <laughs> I think I kind of like that. This might be the first time Zara let you. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> right. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm ready to go back to my place. So I'm like gonna be heading out to get to the van. I think, didn't we, no, we all came here in the, we didn't come in the van, we all came in the... Yeah, we came in the limo. Because hmm. the, the van got blown up, remember? Oh, I forgot the van got blown up. I do not remember that. Did the van get blown up? I don't up? remember that the van blew up. Okay. I thought it got blown up in the, uh, with the, 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 the couple grenades that we launched at the... Oh no! I said I, I said it was if it was uh, that that we could have uh, filled it up with filled it up with like uh, the fuel cans and 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 ran it through the the front door and then set it on fire. Uh, if we if we if if we weren't going to bring anybody back alive. <laughs> so yeah, I know the band's probably still there. Right. I'm calling this the end of the adventure. Uh, you guys got uh, you got paid. You're, you each received 70 improvement points. How many? I'm sorry. Seven, 70. 70. Because the group's mission was a resounding success. Um, uh, for the new players, uh, An example of what you can do with 70 skill points is that you could buy a new skill, one that you didn't previously have, uh, up to level 2. Or you can improve a skill that you have at level 3 up to level 4. But you guys haven't been spending your uh, improvement points yet, so... Let me know when you want to do that. Yeah, I, right now I'm sitting at 160, I think. Right now I'm sitting at 70. I have to comb <laughs> through my notes. I would probably be at 160 as well, wouldn't I? That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, and... So we've, we've, we've completed three... Uh, three in the first. The first one was fifty that we got. Then we got forty on the second one, and now seventy on this one. Yeah, I played one. Your, 
movies from uh, rank four where you guys are at to rank five is would cost you three hundred. Okay, so about a little over halfway there. All right. I apologize. I forgot to do surgery right. today. <laughs> uh, Luke, you participated, and uh, you're uh, and uh, you're uh, lagging behind a little anyway. So uh, you get seventy improvement Good. points also. And I did say that I was going to, uh, last session, I was going to give some extra points for the recap. So everybody get an extra 10 points. So 80 improvement points? Yes. Did we get any additional rep? Good point. Yes. Everybody gets one additional point of reputation. Nice. Plus four now. Reputation. Is that listed on here someplace? Um... Let me look on your sheet, the one that I sent you. Uh... I think my reputation might be one point with this one point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh you get one point for every adventure that you complete. Alright. So what are Calvary and uh Zara up to? What's your current rep? Four. Four. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, what happens next is that Red Eye uh, excuses herself. Uh, she uh, sends you a message, sends each of you a message, uh, informing you that uh, her contact, Waldo, uh, you guys met him once, and he's the. Uh, Feeling panicky, he's decided to go off the grid and get out of Night City for a while. So, uh, Red Eye uh, got uh, hired to uh, escort him out of the city. And uh, Red Eye basically says, um, Nice knowing you. Maybe I'll see you later. Maybe I won't. <laughs> Sounds about right gotta, for Red Eye. I gotta go do some babysitting. I'll text back, make that money! Gotcha. So, well, now I'm... Assuming I went back to my house of dolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, what are you guys going to do uh, with the... I know that you've got plans for the turret. What are you going to do with this net architecture that you salvaged? <laughs> are you going to sell it? Are you going to uh, set it up at uh, Jinx's place? Uh, you well, could to, uh, you could use it to auto think, do things like automating drones. I, I think a lot of that depends on if we're going to have a permanent base of operations going forward now. Well, Jinx, how do you feel about that? Rent's $1,000 a month. <laughs> yes. Okay, we 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 can we can deduct that from from your uh 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 no 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 not pay, deduct pay for, it. from from the you what, can the pay order. me that providing you shelter. <laughs> Zara's happy with her home. Zara lives in like a um a storage container. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's right. They all live in storage containers. I, I live in like a weird mansion surrounded by trees with doll heads in this. <laughs> Half of that <laughs> sounds limbs. amazing. I don't... <laughs> oh, in my head, it's got like, you know, it's got like a courtyard. There's like a whole greenhouse area. It's, yeah. <laughs> Calvary's agent. Uh, Calvary is receiving a call from a Trace Santiago. Uh, how do you announce this to Calvary? Or do you uh, just start immediately start ringing. Yeah. Like, bring, bring. Hey, 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 Trey, what's, what's, what, what, what's up? Calvary? Yeah, speaking. Who the hell did you guys piss off? Uh, what do you mean? I mean... Yeah, you don't know what's happened? Uh-uh. Okay, well, I'm glad that I got a hold of you while you're still breathing then. All right, and you're going to owe me for this. But uh, some, but you really got on somebody's bad side because someone leaked your entities to Sov Oil, and apparently you have a history with Sov Oil. I do. Does that sound any familiar? Did Did you guys do any jobs that involved Sov Oil in the past? Lord, I believe so. <laughs> yeah. The record, I didn't. I didn't have anything to do with this. It's in my notes. <laughs> Sov oil stands for Soviet oil. Um, yeah, that was where we we uh, oh. iced the, the the liquor from. The kid in the basement. Yeah. Okay. Trace says, I don't know anything about liquor. I don't think that Sov oil would really care about that, but um, there was uh, something Something mentioned about a missing engineer? Did you kill an engineer? No. Uh, Didn't well, kill anybody. Whatever you did, uh, Sob Oil has, uh, the leak did include all four of your identities. So Jinx is involved in this. And, uh, Sob Oil is already, uh, issuing, uh, warrants out to, uh, the local, out to the local, uh, edge runners and mercs. Uh, you're on a hit list. And Sob Oil, this is a genuine mega corporation. They wage wars. They take over countries. I look over at Zara. You know who I think did this? Did we finally push the negotiations too far? I think so. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Trey says. Okay, um, I, uh, do you know a net runner who could, uh, try to, uh, scrub your IDs from? Well, we, uh, we. Public databases? We did know one, but <laughs> she, she's kind of went off the grid now. <laughs> Well, that's what you should do. Uh, she made the right move then. <laughs> um, if you guys need to get out of Night City, um, I've got some contacts with nomads. I can help. I can help you with that. If you want to lay low, then at the very least, you're going to have to uh, forge some new IDs and uh, move and. Uh, get the hell out of uh, uh, wherever it is that you're living living at the moment. 
It's probably not even safe to go back there in this moment in time. Yeah, no, I would agree. And uh, they, they trade the... The yeah. the entire thing I think that uh, that 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 uh, started this all off was this last um, case that we uh, took, and uh, something about the the Philharmonic vampires. The vampire thing. Yep. I, I thought that we killed the bad guy. Uh, we did, but. Uh, one of the Philharmonic vampires uh, hired us to get back uh, Lucy Reinmeier. And um, he was hoping that we had no ties between uh, the vampire that we killed and the vampiric or philharmonic philharmonic vampires and we 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 may have tried to, to uh extort our silence on the on that connection well i said okay uh yeah you you guys really need a fixer uh fixers actually fixers do that for a living uh when you Attempt that as an amateur, you're basically rolling the dice. <clears throat> we but... all know how I am with dice. <laughs> you and me both, are you and me both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is what I can do for you. Uh, if it was the uh, Philharmonic Vampires, uh, was the... Uh, uh, was it the whole gang that you ticked off or somebody individually uh individually was uh the 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 guy that looked like bella lugosi yeah okay i'll see what i can do um i'll reach out i'll see what i can do about uh smoothing things over and i'll and i'll uh see if i can uh find out uh what side of oil actually actually wants so I can help you guys out, but it's going to take some time. And you guys need to either uh, go underground or get out of town uh, today, like immediately, in order to keep yourselves alive while I straighten things out for you. Already on our way out of the city. Okay. Uh, Except for you... me, because I'm in a different place and don't hear this conversation at all. <laughs> I don't think you had left yet. Oh, I hadn't left yet? I thought I'd left. Okay, do you need a, uh, do you need a nomad escort to help you across the Badlands? Yeah? Yeah. Yes? We got this. Yep. <laughs> you got this, Zara? Zara's big for her britches. Uh, yes, yes, we do need an escort. Is our old nomad family still around, or did that or did that entire clan just kind of get wiped out? Just out of curiosity, yeah. what what is Zed playing? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know yet. Nope. As, uh, he's, he's currently playing Calvary's agent. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe like a nomad. I don't know. No. I want. I, okay. I would like to go underground, and I would like someone to make some uh, new IDs for us. Even if we're going to be a nomad, we need someone who can actually fix the IDs for us. We can't like go around with the IDs that we currently have. Well, if you can find a nomadic fixer. But if they and, charge, uh, you're paying for it. You can pay as for your group. own. I'm paying for mine. <laughs> I'll pay as for my group. ID. As a, as go a, ahead. As a rules clarification, a uh, tech can fabricate a fake ID. I am fabricating a fake ID for me. <laughs> they haven't asked me nicely yet, so I'm not making them for them because I need to be asked nicely. How much? Okay. Is, how much is it going to cost, Jinx? 
<laughs> I don't talk nicely. I talk money. Great. Eight grand. Why? Because that number's in my head now. So eight grand. Uh, I just helped you make a shit ton of money. You're not going to bring that price down a bit? $7,999. How about five? And a bottle of booze. Top shelf stuff. $7,500. How much? $7,500. Six and a bottle of booze. Seven thousand five hundred and a bottle of booze. <laughs> I will do seven thousand five hundred and no booze. Done. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I send the money via agent. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, am I not going for Calvary too, or is that just for? Or is that just for uh... <laughs> to answer Calvary's question? Uh, yes, uh, your nomad, uh, your nomad pack, who is your immediate family, is uh, broken up and uh, scattered to the wind. Uh, but your nomad nation, which is the larger or organization is still intact and it is still functioning and you do have sister mary as a contact that's what i was just gonna that, that's what i was just gonna say so with that i was going to see if we could reach out to sister mary okay so uh zara and calvary at least know sister mary you can reach out to her and i'm going to move this along because of the time uh you get a hold of uh, you get a hold of Sister Mary. Uh, she is not in Night City right now, but uh, she does have an address where she wants you to go. Uh, because uh, there is a client in town who needs uh, some contraband, or actually she calls it cargo. Cargo. <laughs> in nomad speak. That she w that needs to be transported of Night City, and you're going to rendezvous with a nomad caravan on, on the city outskirts. All right. So you are given an address. It is uh, number three on First Street. What sector is that going to be in? That's in the combat zone again. That's what I was thinking. It was like that sounded like it was pretty darn close to where that uh, chapel was at. Okay, and there is a hired gun who is going to meet you there, and uh, uh, he's just waiting for a, and he's just waiting there with the client for a ride. He's going to be answering to the name Zed. All righty. Is it what? His name is Zed. He's a solo. Yes. Okay. Solo. Uh, wrote down what solos were. They're like soldiers. No, wait, something. Soldiers. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's the game jargon for a soldier. All right. Well, I guess we'll uh, head out from the college district, get back to the combat zone, and head to to, to number three on First Street. Can okay. we pick up the van along the way? Because I don't think that people would necessarily know we had had that van. The van, the van would have been. Right, go ahead. Did you? Yes or no? Did you blow the van up? We didn't blow it up. However, though, it's going to be in the same vicinity that um, the the Night City PD's at. Oh, oh I mean, right. this is like a day or so later. 
Yeah, you shot up the van. That's what it was. Okay. That's it, yeah. So, yes, if you want to pick up the uh, the sketchy-looking van yeah. with the handcuffs and the blood and uh, the two bodies that are inside of it, you can Don't do worry, that. I'll kick the bodies out. <laughs> Yes, we get there, and uh, the, I'm assuming the cops have cleared out by now because they're not very effective cops. They're not going to be sitting around there very long. I'm going to kick out, roll the bodies out in the street, and take off. Okay, they are actually very efficient cops uh, because of the <laughs> hardware that they really use. They're able to catalog and study a crime scene within just minutes. So yeah, they have pulled out. By uh, but they also gutted the inside of the place, so there's there's nothing <laughs> left behind. No evidence and nothing of value. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say grab the van because nobody actually knows we have the van, whereas they might know we have the limo, if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't think the Calvary's willing to give up his limo, though. How do you feel about that, Calvary? So. No. Okay. <laughs> Can the tech create? Well, first of all, was the limo ever registered in any way whatsoever? Uh yes. Can the tech create uh, yeah, a it... false registration for the limo? Yep, you do have falsified um, ownership papers, and it does have Night City plates. All right. Are we gonna throw a wrap on it? You know how you wrap cars? We're going to throw a wrap on it so it's not the same color? <laughs> okay. All right. I picked out the wrap. And so it's purple and green with uh, <laughs> orange flames down the side. Can, 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 can I have a racing, uh, a, a double racing stripe? Yes. Uh, double racing stripe is uh, in neon pink. Okay. Okay, there's a bozo on the street corner who says, Cool car, man! Honk, honk. <laughs> <laughs> Can I update the horn to go, Ooga! Ooga! <laughs> if I had any taste whatsoever, I would think this is a little over the top, guys. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have any taste, Zara. <laughs> Touché. The soldier, I think the soldier's going to appreciate it when we come up in these vehicles. It's so, like, nondescript. So, like, non-noticeable. Okay, we are now starting a new adventure titled Black Dog. And, That's comforting. Uh, Okay, and I did post an image in the Discord channel. Black Dog. Uh, for... Uh, nobody here has a music skill. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so you do have that chip, but that was a dance skill. <laughs> yeah. This is the song that is playing on the radio as you guys drive uh, to the address. This is one of Johnny Silverhand's songs, and it is uh, it is copyrighted, so we're not going to play it on Twitch. <laughs> I noticed the picture at the top. It says Samurai Black Dog, or is this like... That's the one. That is, yep, yeah, that is the uh, EP cover. Johnny Silverhand's band was named Samurai, and Barbara Dahl, who is now the newscaster, was the keyboardist for that band. Oh, nice. So, it all ties together. <laughs> but I will dramatically read some of the lyrics to you, instead of playing it. <laughs> A blind man lost. In the streets, a pattern here I need to see. Keep returning, keep trying to leave. Got a bad feeling that I need to feel. Black dog runs at my side. Down a road, no end in sight. The city sleeps, 
but in my mind got a knot that won't unwind. Tonight is the night that we run. The hunter becomes what he hunts. The escape and the chase become one. Run, run. In concrete canyons, squinting neon eyes, black dog beside me. Light, shadow needing light. Stalk the back streets, never at ease. Locked in a chase that'll never cease. A bloody moon portending doom. Another cruel day is coming soon. Have to end this, but it's just begun. A final charge with rising sun. Black dog in my head, guiding me to the end. Black dog in my head, guiding me to the end. But you have to imagine uh, the band Samurai uh, playing that as heavy metal called Chroma Rock and basically screaming it at you through your radio speaker. <laughs> Um, so, I'd like to say, for the record, Alderman. the cat in the chair behind me is not dead. He's just sleeping. It's not. He's not dead. Just, just that's just that's the way he sleeps. So, same. Okay. <laughs> Is that anything like um, uh, we, we sent the dog upstate to the farm where he's going to chase rabbits? <laughs> I'm going to send some dogs upstate to the farm. <laughs> he's just, he's really wake. His eyes are all rolled back. His mouth is open. He's just laying there. He's happy. <laughs> he's chillaxing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, you roll up on this address, and it's actually the parking garage to an old hotel in the banking district. And the old banking district uh, is technically inside the hot zone. So uh, if you want... if so you guys are, you're fine now, but if you were going to spend any uh, extended amount of time here, uh, you uh, would want to put on radiation suits and carry some Geiger counters around with you. This is the part of the city where uh, the atom bomb went off that ended the fourth, at the end of the fourth corporate war. So you're not in the crater, that's the next neighborhood over. But you're pretty close. Uh, are there, is there a radiation suit available? I'm going to put on a radiation suit because it's A, cover, and B, we're in the hot zone. Uh, yeah, a fixer left a, vendant, a vending machine uh, right here on the street corner, and it sells Geiger counters and radiation suits. All right, and um, rad I, I'm I'm... Buying all those things from the vending machine. How much is it? Okay. Ten eddies each. Oh. Ten eddies per... Oh, Z Zara's gonna buy both then. That's cheap as shit. <laughs> what, were the, what was the third thing? Because there was a radiation... Radiation... Rad treatment. <laughs> Great, I'm gonna grab a couple of those, too. Um, I'm only buying treatments. one. I'm buying multiple because I, I'm I'm not getting sick with radiation sickness. <laughs> uh, I'll look over at Zara. Somebody I think is a hypochondriac. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Honestly, okay. the only reason I'm buying this Calvary is because it's ten eddies for each item. I still don't want to spend that. <laughs> Okay, at this part of the city, it's like a block that way. There are the uh, robots and uh, the bulldozers who are uh, just who are still um, moving uh, the rubble out of the city, so that it oh, can we're be disturbing built. the radiation so that it can get up more in the air. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yes, it's a part of the process. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Yeah, it's it's actually even more disturbing than that because what they're doing with this uh uh with this rubble is that they're pushing it into the bay. <laughs> oh, no. Quality quality workmanship there. <laughs> But uh, you go into the parking garage, and uh, there's uh, nothing here. All of the cars got looted and uh, carved away for and carried away for scrap years ago. Uh, but there is a uh, but there is a basement level that's intact. When you go down to the basement level, you see a pair of blast doors. That are uh, human size. It's just a uh, heavy uh, steel uh, plated with lead doors. And there is a solo uh, standing outside these doors. Uh, what does Zed look like? Uh, so he's uh, he's wearing leisure wear, uh, short and curly hair, uh, so sunglasses on, um, just waiting for the. The doors to open, essentially. Um, okay. Do I hear any noise? He wears his sunglasses at night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There are uh, two vehicles to roll up. A, a stretch limousine and a uh, old van with all of the windows uh, covered over with white paint. So uh, they are... They are not moving with any subtlety whatsoever. Oh, I'm pulling my gun. I'm pulling my handgun out, my very heavy pistol, and aiming it directly at the cars. I'll roll down the window. Zed, Sister Mary sent us. Sister Mary, hmm. Okay, time Don't out. Sounds familiar. Is this is what zed knows about uh uh his job uh i didn't go over this with the player beforehand so i'm going to fill you in uh zed was hired and told that that as a bonus uh at the end of the mission he was going to be given some intel about his parents killer uh he was this was contracted uh, through a group of nomads, and uh, Sister Mary was the fixer who uh, set you up for this job. Okay. Okay, you're being paid a thousand eddies uh, to do this, which is higher than the going rate, but this is expected to be a long job. It's going to take you a few days. Because it involves travel. Specifically, right. there is there is a client who lives at this address named Samantha, and she wants you to carry a crate from her home to certain coordinates in New Mexico. Uh, so is the crate behind me then, or near me? Yeah. Um, you were told that Samantha is a retired Night City firefighter. All right. That's all that you were told about her, unless you asked for more, unless you asked any specific questions. Oh, no, I just do what's contracted. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, all right. Um... Mr. Mary did start? tell you... Oh, uh, one more thing. Sister Mary did provide uh, transportation. She said that some nomads were going to... Uh, you're the security. She said that some nomads were going to show up to carry you and the crate to New Mexico. And nomads have a reputation for traveling in uh, heavily armed caravans. They have safety in numbers when they're on the road. So uh, that's kind of knowledge, and that's kind of what you expected. You're expecting them to bring the whole caravan into Night City, into this parking structure. But they should be sending somebody to come pick you up. 
No, the van's perfect for the crate. And <laughs> the limo's the pimped out heavy armor. <laughs> okay. So, go. Go. All right. So, um, since I'm expecting them, I'm not going to be talking much. I'll just grab the crate if I can pick it up. I don't know if it's how big it is. Um, and I'm going to try and move it towards the van. You have not been given the crate yet. No? No, you've not been given the crate yet. You're just uh, hanging outside the front door waiting for somebody to show up right now. Yeah. Is the door locked? Yes, it is. Uh, um, since I've been spoken to, I'm just going to knock on the door. Okay. Just All there. right. Oh, uh, what uh, Calvary, Zara, and Jinx see is the guy knocking on the door, and uh, after he notices them pull up, and then a voice comes over an intercom. It is a woman's voice, and she says, <clears throat> Hello? Who's there? Hey, it's uh, Zed. Uh, I think the uh, crew's arrived. Okay. You are expected. Come on in. And then you hear a click and uh, the electronic locks on the door release. The door is unlocked now. All right. I open the door and uh, escort them into the room. Okay. Is everybody going inside? I will stay out at the, the limo so that way I can kind of keep an eye on things. Zara has no vested interest in any of this other than getting out of town, so I would assume she'd probably wait in the car. Okay. I'll follow him in. <laughs> okay. Why not? <laughs> Jinx and Zed uh, go inside, and you are meted by the woman who I just posted her picture in uh, the channel. This is Samantha, the retired firefighter. I'm going to say, that is one hell of a shine. How do you keep so shiny? Oh, I do a lot of maintenance, but thank you. You look nice also. Thank you. My name is Samantha, and uh, I retired here. Um, I've been living that I've been living at this location, uh, just me and my boyfriend. But on um, for but uh, I have uh, some. I have an item here that I've been holding on to for sentimental value. It's something that I recovered um, from the hot zone back during my previous profession as a firefighter, and I need you to escort it to a very specific location where a friend of mine is waiting. It's in New Mexico. Uh, there is... There is a nomad family, the Jodes, who are going to be, uh, who are going to carry you there, but you were hired to be the security. And you're going to personally hand off this crate. And she shows you a uh, large steel crate. I'm going to run the uh, radiation checker, just like across it real quick. Yeah, it's spiking. <laughs> I am still wearing the suit, by the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Is there a problem? Oh, no, it's just that this, that's super radioactive, isn't it? <laughs> no. It's not super radioactive. So long as it remains inside the crate, it is barely noticeably radioactive. I know. I run the I've radiation meter it. across it again. <laughs> Things just spiking. Yes. It doesn't bury the needle. 
but it definitely but there's definitely something hot inside of it he says right. if you value your lives you will not open this crate okay fair enough right and i need you angel will be waiting for you in alamogordo mexico Alamogordo, New Mexico. I said it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be, I'm sort of like, while well, the soldier's talking to her, I'm kind of trying to tool around the house and see what's here and like, see what tech okay. she has. Cause, yeah. <laughs> Actually, the place is really nice. And she has a lot of uh, memorabilia from uh, the uh 2020s and she's she's got like a sports memorabilia and she has a uh signed uh copy of uh the band of the band samurai's uh first band poster all of the band members including johnny silverhand and barbara doll have signed it she's got a guitar on the uh, other wall that's also signed by Johnny Silverhand. She was a big she was a big fan girl. But all of her furniture is uh of the high quality stuff. This place looks really nice. Despite the fact that it's located that it was built in the inside the basement of a parking garage. <laughs> it's in like a very radioactive place where she's got lead I'm assuming all over the place on the if you look closely yeah you can knock on the walls and it sounds like there's a lead a lining underneath the sh underneath all of the sh all of the paint and sheetrock yeah Okay. I'm gonna go stand over near the crate. All right. Uh, the crate is on a uh, a little uh, wheeled platform. Uh, it's motorized, so uh, uh, if you steer it, uh, it'll carry itself outside. But it does look very, very heavy. I was going to say, were you a fan of Johnny Silver? 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 Oh, <laughs> uh, she said, there was no bigger fan than me of Johnny. The day we lost him, the world changed. I hear you. It's not in the box, right? What's that? Oh, he's not in the box, right? <laughs> she says, um, I'm not going to tell you what's inside the box. That is one of the conditions of your employment. I mean, technically, I'm not employed by you, but I mean, we're kind of catching a ride. All right, she turns to Zed and she asks, who is this person exactly? Who uh, is they were hired. They were hired to, uh, they were supposed to be uh, nomads. They were hired to uh, help us transport this uh, cargo to, across to New Mexico. All right. Um, Samantha says no. Johnny is not in the box. Now, okay. I want you to roll me human perception. Jinx? Uh, am I rolling a ten? Ten cider. Yes, and your human perception is a skill. Uh, Zed, you can do this too. Okay. It's under social skills. Your social skills? Yep, this is an opposed role. Let me see what she wrote. Oh. 
You only have to beat an eight. Do I, it's under social skills or under, yeah. don't see that on, like, I'm sure it's here. I just don't know where it is. Okay. Human perception on your character sheet, it's far to the right hand side in the, in your upper right corner, I think. Um, it's called human perception. It's an empathy skill. Okay. Do I is it do I use stat level or total? Total. All right, I got a ten. Okay, what did Zed get? Uh, on the dice, I got a crit fail, but uh, my base is ten, so I say eleven. Okay, it's going to be eleven, and then yeah. you should roll a ten sider and subtract your second roll from eleven. Okay. Yeah, 10. You rolled a 10 on your second roll? Okay, so your final total is one point. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, uh, Samantha will tell you that the sky is a green on a sunny day, and you would believe her. <laughs> you I don't are... ask questions. <laughs> Okay, I also rolled a one, so a uh, jinx roll was, uh, even though it was unimpressive, was uh, <laughs> what? Uh, that was eight. so impressive. I rolled a three. It was so <laughs> it was a one, but I, I, you know, but with the plus seven, I got like ten. Oh wait, I got an eight. So okay, a- so it's not. So it, um, sh- you can tell with that roll that Samantha is definitely hiding something. Uh, Johnny Silverhand may or may not be inside the box. But there is definitely something that inside the box that she does not want you to know is inside the box. Because it's radioactive, I'm not, like, interested in opening the box to find out, like, what, you know clear stuff is in there and what radioactive crazy crud is in there so I'm like all right uh well I I'm totally believe that he's not in there at all no parts of his body no nothing it's a comfort uh I have to say though your house is great you have a lovely lovely home okay and um at this point, uh, it's not quite a cliffhanger, but we are going to uh, leave at this point because I have to leave and go to work real soon. <laughs> but at least we were able to get said into the story. We were barely yeah. <laughs> scratch the surface. We'll be rolling <laughs> forward next time. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, you can find me on Twitch at M I Z Z direction, Ms. Direction. Um, anybody else? I have a podcast. I haven't updated in two years, but it's a podcast. Hip it. Plug <laughs> it. It is bittersweet ramblings. And uh, I sw- keep swearing I'm going to put out more episodes. So eventually it'll happen. It'll just be like when it's a mystery. It's a mystery box of when it happens again. <laughs> I have nothing to plug other than to make sure that you check out everybody's here, their their sites and and podcasts and everything. So Okay. Um do you have anything, Zed? Or <laughs> do you have anything, Luke? <laughs> yeah, I'm also a streamer. Uh you can follow me on alias uh one two three. Um and I also am hosting uh, like a 12 hour in the next two, three weeks. Wow. <laughs> yeah. An endurance stream. Okay, why are you doing that? Uh, because I've been hitting goals, like minor goals, and I haven't been doing anything about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
you have stronger endurance than I do, I that's amazing. So yes. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good, Good night, night, guys. We're going to go visit more of Janie, and we will see you in two weeks. And if anything changes, check the Discord. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Scott. Good night. If Bye. you guys don't want to.